Kyren, congratulations. You're through to a sixth successive Crucible quarterfinal. There's not many people with that level of consistency here on the big stage. Yeah, it's, it's obviously very pleasing. Um, I always work very, very hard for this particular event, harder than I do for anything else. And um, it's obviously nice to reap the rewards for that. Um, so, you know, it's, it's the biggest tournament we have and I, I always enjoy playing here. We knew that was going to be a big match because Barry Hawkins is another player with great consistency when it comes to Sheffield. 9-4, everything's going well. You've blasted out the blocks yesterday and then him getting it back to 9-7 overnight, that suddenly puts a different complexion on the third session, doesn't it? Yeah, I made a, two really good clearances from about 60 or 50 behind. Um, and I was looking good for a third clearance to go 10-4. And I had a sort of easy red with a rest, and I'm normally very reliable with it. And I just made the wrong decision with it. I put my mini butt on, and I needed the longer extension because uh, I just ran out of room on the shot. And I was so annoyed at myself for making that schoolboy error. And Barry, being Barry, was solid after that and got it back to 9 7. So, yeah, not the best night's sleep after that. But great composure as he came back again and again and again. You didn't wilt when the scoreline got, got a little bit tight. Yeah, I was really pleased with the way I handled myself. You know, I never got on top of myself at any moment. Um, obviously, you give yourself a little bit of kick up, kick up the backside every now and again when things have gone slightly wrong. But, you know, I kept my mind in check and gave myself a chance right throughout the match to keep being positive. And, and what a way to finish with a century. Yeah, uh, you know, that's the most pleasing way to finish any match, um, especially under pressure here to, to close it out. A really sort of clean century it was very pleasing. Now, you know better than anyone, you've had a great run to the final last summer. There are no easy matches and you're facing the man in form, Neil Robertson, in the quarterfinals. You are going to need to be at your best. Yeah, without doubt. I think anything below that, then I'm going home. So, um, yeah, I, obviously, that only gives me one thing to think about in my mind. You know, I have to play good snooker. And um, sometimes that's, that's quite nice to obviously just have that main focus and... Um, yeah, obviously, you know, Neil has been tipped to win the tournament. He's the heavy favourite. So I feel like I'm in a little bit of a win-win situation there. And, and we could pot potentially see some very high scoring visits because both of you have been knocking in tons for fun. Yeah, I've, I've been scoring very heavily this season and I was very pleased to make a new record in snooker in the recent Championship League. I actually took that off Neil. So, um, yeah, that was nice. And obviously, Neil's always scored very, very heavily so um yeah hopefully it's it's that case again and the fans enjoy their snooker betfred proud sponsor of the world snooker championship